This is part two of my small series here where I go over some tips, hopefully in a quick format, to help enable players to get the most out of their accounts and prepare them for the future. These little things I've learned or picked up myself after playing Genshin since 1.0. Since the games are fairly similar in many ways, I have learned quite a few optimizations in the way that one can play and prepare for the future. Of course, if you play Genshin, the probability that there is a Genshin equivalent tip is very high, so enjoy your little double dip on the games. Also, if you're a whale or some form of spender, some of these tips will become unusable for you, and that's okay. You're just not really the target for that particular tip. Double also, for some players, these tips will be obvious, but that does not make them any less valuable. Not everyone has your knowledge or experience. These tips will range from inventory management to when you should accomplish stuff on your account. In this second episode of this fantastic series, we're going to feature finding good artifacts. How to identify good artifacts. Improving the power of your characters through the RNG gacha mechanic that is free, pretty much. Relics. Artifacts. Same shit, okay. So, who is this tip for? This tip is pretty much for everyone except for those with SSS or OP ranked artifacts in every slot. Uh, in which case, you know, you can still probably do better because that's just how relics work. Uh, so, it's, yeah, this, this, this is a tip for everyone. This will help you improve your relic game and help you keep th certain things in mind when it comes to holding artifacts or future units. Uh, the goal is to get them as strong as possible with the resources you already have on hand as fast as possible so you can you know send out your clips send out your screenshots of your epically built characters so let's go ahead and get into it let's kind of talk about what we have going on here um we're going to be looking for relics and i have already some of these marked out but we're going to try to scan through some of these relics to see if we can find some nice ones that uh maybe we haven't used yet you're going to notice i have a lot of ropes and orbs generally just marked and the reason for that is simple. They have one possible stat that is useful and maybe a good main stat. Um, all these defense stats up here, I, I don't really have anyone that's going to want them. I don't have anyone. You know, the, the sub stats aren't all too great. Uh, all of these here, they just have some form of uh, boost to them. Or, you know, their defense and on fleet. You know, these things kind of come in hand at times. So for this one specifically... Well, this is a great piece, uh, however, it is on fleet, and uh, that kind of almost makes it unusable, except for maybe by a future character that can scale off of HP and also lightning damage. Uh, we uh, really yet to see that. However, when you look at these sub stats, these are, this, is a, this is a really good piece, regardless of what set it's on. So, just, you know, put a little lock on that bad boy and hold her down. Um, this is an example of a pretty bad piece. We got HP flat, defense flat. Effect res on fire damage boost. If this had speed or perhaps a, just another percent scaling, I may end up blocking it. But um, the combination of this being a fire damage boost and not like an HP or defense while also being on fleet, but also having two flat stats. And it's only three. And there are only three stats here. The combination of all these things, it's just too many marks off the old block for me. So let's kind of look at some uh, other pieces, really dive into some more clear examples of what we're talking about here. Um, not this, not that, that, not that, except for we'll go over why I do have those marked. Um, not that, not that, actually, yes, this. This is an attack percent piece. And normally you're going to want crit damage body here or crit rate body here. But in the case that there's actually some unit quantum that may scale off of attack better than standard crit rate or crit damage and may not necessarily need this you can think of something um kind of like how young king works he gets a lot of natural crit rate so you actually do want to crit damage body on him but in the case where he gets plenty of crit rate or crit damage and your limiting factor really is attack and they scale well off of attack well then this would be an excellent piece for them if you know they also happen to be quantum but quick reminder quantum is also like the best set in the game so sometimes you can flex quantum onto other units but that is a, a more advanced and nuanced guide than this is necessarily going to get into what we're mostly trying to do is find pieces that can end up being effective this is another 
Excellent example. There are two bad stats on this, defense and defense, unfortunately. But it does have crit damage. But it has it has something interesting here. It's uh, it's missing a piece. So you know what? Why don't we dip, out, dip on in here real quick, dip our toes in here, and uh, give this bad boy uh, level 3 and let's see what happens. Effect hit rate. Okay. I have determined now that this piece is completely useless. But if that were to hit crit rate, now we kind of have a piece that we're talking about. And as you can see, I've marked out a couple of these because, uh, you know, I was prepping for this video a little bit. Just a moment here. We need to unlock it because it is now bricked effectively for me. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take that very same piece. We're just going to chuck it on in there. As you'll notice, uh, I went boom, boom, boom here, which equates to about 2,500 XP. But when I dump this in there, well, we get a little bit more. And the reason is because you're also consuming the value of 1,500 plus effectively these, right? So there is a steep discount in the XP that you're getting back, but just to make things easy, I like feeding these failed pieces into other failed pieces. And they have kind of a trail of tiers to really mark the places that I've been for. Um, so that piece is also bricked, unfortunate. We're really just fishing for crit rate or crit damage, especially with something like this. Uh, this could go really well with perhaps even speed. It doesn't even necessarily need to be crit damage in this scenario. Attack percent is kind of interesting. I'm going to hold on to this piece for a while, just because I don't know what comes in the future. But I think I'm probably going to end up foddering this piece, uh, sending it to the Great Pyre beyond. Uh, this is a fantastic piece. There's two stats here, which are highly desirable. If I manage to get crit rate down here, uh, my QQ or potential seal, I don't have seal, but my QQ is going to be eaten good, right? I'm going to be quite happy. So we're just going to go down here and click these bad boys. And there it is. From nothing. From nothing. I have created the potential for an excellent piece. Oh, this is going so well. Oh, this is perfect. I didn't even plan for this to go so amazing. Awesome. Okay, and then it gets bricked. Oh, okay, well, if, if this misses with... Uh, okay, all right. Well, you know, it, we, we started off pretty good, you know. We can only take some things so far, it seems. Uh, well, we'll do one last. You know, if I hit some crit right here. Okay. So, what happened there? Well, we managed to clench defeat from the Jaws of Victory um, by RNG. Thank you very much. That's very awesome. Yeah, let's just double check my QQ real quick, just to make sure it's not an upgrade somehow. <laughs> okay, it's, it's an upgrade still. Okay. So we're just going to pop that right bad boy right on over there. Awesome. Minor, minor upgrades. That's what we do it for, boys. Oh, that was rough. Oh, where's my inventory? Okay. All right, well, let's, um, we're a bit sad now. We're a bit sad now. All right, well, maybe, maybe we'll get the old redemption out. Get an old redeeming one here. Okay, speed. This is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't have Silver Wolf, but I can imagine a piece like this could end up being pretty okay for Silver Wolf. She's going to want some speed, maybe some defensive stats, you know, never hurts anybody, keep her alive, although kind of unnecessary with Bougeron, but you know, the extra defensive stats are fine. A bit of crit rate to help maybe some damage, but mostly what we're looking at here is this is a, a, fine, a fine little piece for a temporary measure to put on Silver Wolf or anyone like Silver Wolf. Uh, that may also be in quantum. So, that's fine. And uh, going back, you know, if uh, there happens to be an HP scaling character, okay, that also is a lightning. Uh, I, I think you remember there's an HP orb up here I had, right? Uh, where is that bad boy? Right there. This piece and this piece, if there, ever, if, if there ever comes out a carry or just some kind of unit that scales on HP, it also likes to attack a lot. A lightning destruction unit? I'm, God, these pieces could be real valuable. And so it's kind of really useful to hold on to stuff. This is an excellent piece. If you ever have a uh, some kind of take unit that really needs to hit their dots, say uh, March 7th, well, these are three excellent stats for March 7th. 
this is something March 7th really wants in a main stat. And um, yeah, this would be an excellent piece for March 7th. It's unfortunate that it's on this set. I, you know, I really see March 7th ever really running this set necessarily. However, if there ever was a unit, like some kind of debuffer that did need the, you know, it, it's, it's all about preparing for the future. It's all about holding it down for what could happen, what could come, and just identifying when substats work really well together, uh, as well as having some kind of effective main stat. What we're doing here is we're fishing for artifacts that are almost complete, or have most of our good substats that we want and or desire. Keep in mind, we have already seen a plethora of units that have different scalings, so we really need to consider what set we're looking at and what potential we have in the future of a unit just using it. So I just want to say, if you found this tip helpful, uh, it'd be rad if you left a like on the video. And if you didn't think so, you know, leave a list like, go for it, gamer. Um, if you want more tips and a notification as soon as possible is when I, you know, make new videos and such, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button, you know, it's, uh, it's free. And uh, I'll be sure to keep uploading interesting content as frequently as possible. It's a little tough, but you can actually catch me on stream pretty often. So if you have any suggestions and stuff like that, you know, maybe hit me up there. Twitch.tv slash 7th does, you know, just saying it's up there on the screen too. 